Yeah, man. Today promised to be a very beautiful day. The reason is from what we feel and from the colors of the rainbows, the colorful sky, I can see yellow, I can see orange, I can see pink, I can see. In fact, it has gone. <laughs> No opportunity remains forever. It's an irony that uh, in our climb, when a man is trekking, they think you are poor, unknown to mankind as trekking was the original thing the early man was doing. Because you exercise your bone, you exercise yourself, you are not supposed to be too comfortable. Get too comfortable, you cannot survive life. Because your system, it's not being re-engineered and renewed every day due to the stress and exercises you get which gives you therapeutic healing of self and body and mind. So, but the question is, we get so complacent with the system that uh, we do not know what we want. When you are tracking, the man who is riding a bike believes you're stupid. He wants to run you out of the road. There's no respect for the man who is trekking. The one who's driving a car wants to run the man riding a bike out of the road. I don't know what gives men this kind of ego and pride. Is it not good to respect other road users? If you cannot respect people who humbly go about their business, I think there's something wrong with you. It's either you are feeling what we call superiority complex. That has to be, or you are feeling inferiority complex, because you are back to a kind of Japanese toys, or is it a German toy or American toy? You, you use it as a weapon of intimidating other people. I think we should learn how to what, respect even if a dog is crossing the road or if I, because sometimes we don't know what we don't know. What about if you are running? with heavy speed and a little boy cross the road, what are you going to do? Are you not going to stop? We must learn how to live life appropriately and respect every youth user. Because you drive a car is a privilege, not a right. Do you even know what happened tomorrow? Tomorrow you may be dead. Do you, when you are dead, do you carry the car or the bike with you? Or even if you ride a helicopter or maybe a private jet. As far as I'm concerned, if you have a private jet could be good for you if you are a multi-billionaire. But what value is a private jet when you know a lot of people are hungry? Are you not a motherfucker if you say, well, you are working for God, you are a pastor and imam, you have a private jet? You have no business having a private jet because you don't want people. Have no food to eat. Anyway, you can learn what you want to learn. It's up to you.